Good morning. This is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. I have such adventures you wouldn't believe. Okay, so uh, just so you know, um, full disclaimer, I guess. <laughs> I do this every morning. I say good morning and say a little bit, and then if nothing else happens, I just don't don't post it. But I figure I should start the morning off by saying good morning to you just in case. Just in case. I have something to tell you later. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, worthy of you viewing. Of course, as you also know, sometimes I'll post it anyway, even if it isn't worthy of your viewing. But I start off every morning saying good morning to you. <clears throat> If I forget, um, I've got that one little blurb where my son was uh, pretending to be me, and he had a close-up of me, and he said, uh, this is Mitzi with Mitzi Adventure. I'll put that on there if I don't have a start to my video, if I forget to say, hi, this is Mitzi. So uh, that's what that little thing is. Uh, he did that when we were in Clovis last year. And I thought it was so funny. I saved it. And I thought, well, I can use it if I ever forget to do an intro. So you probably see that on uh, several of my videos. And I like posting it because it's my son's voice. And I love my son. Scotty's a sweetheart. Okay. So today, what am I going to do today? There's so many things I want to do. What I want to do is go through some of this crap over here on the counter. I really desperately would like to do that. I need to do dishes. I've got them sitting in my collapsible sink on the table outside already. And uh, if I can go through some of this crap over here on the counter, I might find my dish soap. <laughs> If not, I'll do dishes the way I did last time, which was hot water and scrubbing and no soap. And just spray it out with uh, uh, rubbing alcohol and water or vinegar and water, whichever is handy. Okay, but uh, I, I need to make a list up because I'm going to go shopping today. Probably go to Dollar General, but there's some other thing, places that I've heard of that have really good prices I may go to first in case I want to buy something that they have that's cheaper. Get some ice, stock up for my breakfast again, get eggs and stuff. But uh, yeah, I need to make a list for sure. I did buy myself something while I was in Yuma and I don't have it handy to show you, but it's a, um, uh, a battery charger. And I have to study it and figure out how you get it charged so that when my battery dies, I can charge my battery. But I saw somebody use one on my vehicle, and I thought that would be a handy thing to have. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have someone show me how to, you know, set it up so that it will charge. And uh, there, fixed. <laughs> okay, so um, nothing major planned. I still haven't made my bread pudding, and I may just play with that to I just don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do. I need to start painting. Haven't done that. I need to make that little 3D rock sculpture. That's been a lot on my mind. So there's all kinds of things I could do. Let's see which one I pick. <laughs> Pulling away with the little box thing, that one right there. I met him yesterday. And uh, his name is Alan. Everybody calls him Blue. Very nice man. And yesterday he showed me a rock he found. And uh, we were trying to figure out what kind of rock it was because it was so pretty. <clears throat> and uh, I said, it looks like Amethyst. And uh, he went in and found the rock hound in town and they told him it was Indian Amethyst. And he just stopped by here and gave it to me. So now I have it. Is that beautiful? Look, I'm recording. I remembered to record something. How about that? Isn't that beautiful, though? Look at that. Yes. That is pretty. So that's compliments of blue. Cool. 
And Deborah's sitting here with me. Say hi, Deborah. Hi, I got teeth. Looky, she got teeth. Got teeth. Compliments of Mexico, Algodonas. Is that Los how you say Algodonas. it? Los Algodonas. It's been busy here. Look at all the vehicles. Look at this. You see all that over there? All kinds of vehicles. And we're, uh, I was just told we're going to maybe try to stretch it till after Thanksgiving instead of moving. So they're not real, real persnickety about the 14 day limit because everybody's past it now <laughs> except for Becky, I think. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it needs to be made into a necklace. It's so pretty. Yeah. And he got it how many miles? 10 miles outside of Roswell, New, Roswell, New Mexico. Mexico. That's where this came from. Extraterrestrial. It could be extraterrestrial. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. That might have been somebody's tooth at one time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Narrowed down to only three reasons to go into town anymore. One is water, two is food, and this is three. <laughs> yeah. Once again, a beautiful sunset in Quartzsite, Arizona. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. And the moon, there's the moon. And we got artwork going on over here. Somebody's painting the side of their, well, their whole van they're painting. That's going to be pretty. There's Mike's lights on his. Yeah, that's pretty. Wish you could see it in person. It looks so much prettier. Well, I didn't get a lot done today. It was a lazy day. I did go into town and... Uh, Everybody was talking about this tent place that had fresh vegetables and had food at good prices. And every time you go in there and buy something, he gives you something free. Uh, yesterday, I think he was giving away bananas. Today, he gave away uh, potatoes to everybody, like a good-sized bag of potatoes. Um, I did find it finally today, but it was a little bit of a walk, and I just, just didn't want to walk today. I, I didn't, I wasn't up to it. It was too hot out and I just didn't want to do it. So I know where it is now. I just haven't walked it yet. <laughs> um, but I did go into town and I bought, uh, what did I buy? Oh, I got some butane. Um, I went to the big market. They had tons of butane in stock. So uh, they had four pack for $9.99, which is a great deal for four cans of butane. So I did that, and I bought some more tubes from my cigarettes, and uh, that was about it, pretty much. Made a few pit stops here and there, um, and it's the end of a beautiful day. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture of, remember, Ollie the big uh, uh, Labrapoodle or whatever he is? Uh, he found a buddy. There's a, Somebody else came up. And parked over here, and uh, she has a standard size poodle, a full, full fledged poodle, same size as Ollie. And uh, uh, I don't know why I thought, you know, since they were both males, that they wouldn't get along. But uh, when we came back from Yuma, they were together, and uh, so he found himself a buddy, and uh, it was so cute. They, the way they looked together, I had to take a picture, so you'll see that picture at the end. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to try again for the ice and the eggs and all that stuff. <laughs> and some other stuff too. I just don't know. Things are at a slow pace here and I like it that way. So we'll see what we do tomorrow. I don't know. But until then, everybody have a wonderful day. Stay happy. Be nice to everybody. And, um, follow your bliss. And I will talk to you tomorrow.